hey y'all welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be sharing with you my fall home tour this is probably my most favorite video of the year that i do i did the same video last year but things are changed up a little bit differently so i will leave that link down below in the description but i'm really excited because this is actually going to be in collaboration with a few of my girlfriends here on youtube it's going to be mandy in the making hey it's terry kristen's chaotic life and naomi rose i will leave a link to their fall home tour all down in the description box so when you get done watching mine go ahead and check theirs out and with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So we are gonna start out here in my yard and I just wanna go ahead and say that my fall decor is very minimal. I don't like my house to look cluttered. So I don't put a whole lot out and I don't decorate a whole lot for the seasons, but I do like to add a touch here and there. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and start right here with this flag. I actually ordered this flag on Amazon and we had just a monogram there but I went ahead and changed it out for fall and then over here you see this pumpkin I just got that from Hobby Lobby set it right there to make it look a little bit festive then we will move over here to the door and I just got this rug I replaced it with our hello rug I got it from TJ Maxx I think it was only like $7.99 or something like that and then right here I'll open the door so you guys can see I just have this wreath. I actually ordered this on Etsy last year. So this was in my home tour last year. But I really love it. I love the Chevron, Chevron print on it. And then I got the wreath hanger up there at the top. I got that from Hobby Lobby. So right here I just have this. It's kind of annoying but I thought it was cute. It just add some decor right there to the doorway because we don't have a place to put a table or anything like that over here beside the couch on the side table i just added this little candy dish i got it last year from target dollar spot i believe and i just put some soft caramels in there perfect for fall okay moving on over to the mantle i just have this piece right here i bought this from tj maxx it just says thankful, grateful, and blessed. And then on the other side of the mantle, I just have this gold pumpkin. And to be honest with you, I cannot remember where I got that, but I did have that from last year. And then just on top of our speaker, I have this candle holder, which I actually don't know if it's supposed to be a candle holder, but that's why I made it. And I got it from Hobby Lobby last year. And I just used this pumpkin peanut brittle i have not tried it yet but mandy from mandy in the making said it smelled really good so i went ahead and picked one up okay and right over here on the subwoofer i had a hard time trying to figure out where to put this piece at but i finally just stuck it right here i asked alex if it looked good he said it looked fine so that's where we kept it and i believe i got that from hobby lobby last year and then over here, I didn't want to change things up too much because I love the way it looks. So what I did is I just went ahead and moved this vase that I had right here and I replaced it with a pumpkin. And so over here, it's not really a lot of fall decor, but I love the way it looks, the simplicity of it. And like I said, I am going to try to keep it very minimal this year. So this is one of the main things I changed up this year. I got this table runner right here from TJ Maxx. And then I did have this tear tray in our bathroom, but it was just taking up too much space. So I moved it in here to the dining room table and I got this blessed sign at TJ Maxx and I got both of those pumpkins there in the back at Dollar Tree. And then I also just added some of this. I got this leafy thing at Mighty Dollar. I did not know what to put up there. Nothing was gonna fit. So I just went ahead and added that and I think it looks pretty good. So over here in the corner, I just replaced that little picture we had with a pumpkin just for a couple months. And then down here is where my stash of all of my fall candles that I'm not using at the moment stays. So I'm just gonna open this door up really quick. I didn't do a whole lot, but I did add this little pumpkin right here just on our back table. Then over here, you guys know I don't even like pumpkin spice, but I had to get this cup because it goes perfect for the fall. So I just leave that sitting there as a decor piece over here by the Keurig. And then moving on over here to the sink, I just have my Mrs. Myers set, 
with the candle that I got from Grove and that is in the pumpkin scent. And I also will have a link in the description for you guys. If you want to get this set for free and you are a new Grove member, you can do that. Just use the link in the description and I promise you will love it. You can also pick between mum and apple cider as well. And then right here, I just have this thankful, grateful plus sign above the sink and I like to keep this here all year round. Another piece that I keep all year round is this in all things give thanks sign I have hanging on the wall. It goes perfect for the fall time, but it also stays there year round because it fits in then as well. Moving on over here, we just have this give thanks sign that I got at Hobby Lobby and we picked up these two caramel apples for the girls at Walmart today. So I left them out just because I thought they looked cute. And then over here, I just have this little tray right here with the caramel apple candle from Bath and Body Works and the red pumpkin is from Dollar Tree and I got that this year. Over here on this side of the counter, I just have this fall sign that I picked up last year from Hobby Lobby. I had a hard time figuring out where to put it too because I actually put this outside last year, I believe, if I'm right. And I just decided to stick it there and I think it looks pretty good. And then right here on this closet door, I just have this little thing hanging. I don't know what you would call it, but it's a scarecrow and I got that from Hobby Lobby. I also went ahead and put this wreath on the door and the part that you see behind it, it actually came from Dollar Tree. The wreath has been here, but I just added that back there and I think it looks really good in the middle of the wreath. Right here on the stove, I just have these two dish cloths. I have this one that I got from Walmart and then this one over here came from Grove Collaborative. And then I don't really go all out in the other rooms of the house. It's just the main parts of the house, but this is in my room and this is my nightstand. I just have this picture frame that I got from Hobby Lobby last year and the marshmallow pumpkin latte lotion. I like to keep a seasonal lotion on my nightstand all of the time because I get dry hands. So that's all I have here on my nightstand. So I hope you guys enjoyed this fall home tour. Don't forget, I will leave the one from last year in the description below, and I will also have all the girls that are participating in this home tour down below in the description as well. If you're coming from their channel, I would love to have you stick around on my channel and subscribe and like this video if you love fall, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, girl, you should wear a name tag. Oh, 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 oh,